how to post a website on a free hosting website. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can get free web hosting with 000 web host. So let's get started. Now, web hosting can cost a lot of money and a lot of these even combined web hosting applications or facilities do charge you a exorbitant rate, you know, because if you're looking to just host your website and it's costing you around $10 a month, that's a lot of money for just a very simple function that can really add up. Usually web hosting programs and softwares are going to charge you upwards of like $100 per year and that amount is going to add up over the years. So it's best if you opt for a free web hosting service and triple zero web host or zero 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 web host is just that now what you're going to do you're just going to click on sign in over here and now you can log in or create a new account so i'm just going to close i'm going to click on sign up below that and now i'm going to sign up using my google account you can add your own email and password you can log in using hostinger or you can log in using facebook as well now, although this is a free service, it is only limited to one website per email. So you're going to have to do separate accounts for each of your websites if you're planning on hosting more than one website. But if you just have a singular website, you're going to be just fine. So you can see this is their welcome page and let's create some magic. So now you're going to select what you would like to do first. So you can start off by building your online store or even creating a web design, but obviously we are not here to do that. So we're going to select on others and then you can name your project. So hotels. So I'm just going to change up the password here and I'm going to submit this. Now you can see over here, once you have decided your website name, you can either use their website builder, you can install WordPress and start designing over there. But for the purpose we are here for today is to upload our own HTML, CSS onto a web host. So we're just going to click on select over here. And now I have downloaded some of this HTML from freebiesbug.com and I've downloaded this little template over here. So what I am just going to do so you can see over here, first off, you have your basic two files. I'm just going to click on new folder. I'm going to create this little folder. And now I'm going to click on upload files over here. You can see at the top right, I'm going to select these files. I'm going to go into my downloads. Hmm, I had downloaded this somewhere around here. No, this is not it. Yeah, this is the one like that. And now you can edit your pre-written code here as well, but uh, obviously if you have written your code out first, then you're not going to be editing using their tools, but you're just going to click on upload files. Make sure you have uploaded all of your CSS files. So I'm going to just, actually I am going to look for their upload files function, select files. And now in this public HTML section, I have uploaded these little bits of code because I'm really not uh, a pro in coding. So I just uploaded these little bits. And if you go back to your 00 web host account, you can see this is my account. I have logged into my account and over here I can see my website. My status is running. You see my website is running and if I click on the link over here, you can see I added obviously random bits and pieces, so it's not proper website yet, but you can see how it's very easy to upload your HTML, CSS, uh, your JavaScript code, any of the basic coding languages that you're writing in, you can easily upload them over here and it's going to configure out your website and provide you with free web hosting. And this is a very, uh, very useful feature, especially if you're just running your own personal passion project. You can just add your email and start a free website without having to you know deal with templates and all of that you're going to make this as customizable as you want obviously with your own code now in comparison to other web hosters you can see we have hostgator which charges uh, $2.75 monthly even on their hashling plan which offers only a single website so 
HostGator is charging 2.75 for a service that is provided by 000 webhost for free. And this is why I suggest that you do take a good look around before you opt for any of the paid versions of these domain hosters or any of the website hosters that you go for. After that, we also have a popular web hoster called DigitalOcean and they also charge $5 for a basic droplets storage package where you know you get a basic website and that's around it and then we have our most popular web hosting uh, service which is namecheap and you might have heard of namecheap on youtube and they have a lot of advertisement and you can see currently they are offering a hundred percent off on their starter program but it that costs usually four dollars and you only get wordpress hosting so that is something to keep into consideration now you can get on their Stellar business version, which is $4, which starts at around 1.58 and that goes up to $4 and you can host up to three websites on their almost $2 monthly program. And I find that to be a good deal only in this situation because they are giving you a discount right now. They have a 45% discount on the first year running. And then if you opt for two years, you can get a 50% discount and you're going to have to pay for the two years month you can't cancel this halfway through once you have bought their subscription now in comparison i do think 000 web host powered by hostinger is probably one of the greatest free web hosters you can opt for it's simple it's easy to use and not only can you upload your own site but you can use their web developer to develop a website if you don't have any coding experience like me and if you want to browse your own account settings, you're just going to click on the top right over here. You can view your account settings. You can also add your social logins. You can add sites here as well. And if you want to add more sites, you're going to have to go for premium. Now I'm going to show you guys what the premium version here is. So first off, you can opt for a monthly plan, which is going to run you a lot higher as compared to their yearly plans. It's going to charge you around $9.49 per month, and you're going to get all the features that you need. Now, I wouldn't suggest going for any kind of monthly plan. Obviously, if you're creating a website, you're going to hope it's going to last for a while. So go for either a one or two year plan because that's like a basic standard limit and it doesn't cost that much. It costs only $3 monthly for a one year plan currently running with their discount. Now, alongside all of these features, you also get 30 gigabytes of disk space. You get 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. You get 99.9% .9 uptime on your website and you have no 000 web host branding. So that's one of the greatest plus points on opting for any of these premium versions because you're not going to have any of these brandings and you're not going to have, you know, have that little logo appear everywhere that this was developed by or powered by or sponsored by. Um, webhost.com so you're not going to have any of that and you also get customer support you get a free ssl certificate and you also get data backups even on their single hosting version so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create and upload your own videos on zero zero webhost and i will catch you guys in the next video